Okay, did a lot of work today. But the thing I'm most excited about is that I collected this trunk from the neighbor's trash pile, uh, the neighbor's uh, construction site trash pile. And I buried it about a foot deep. <laughs> so now I have another table. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very excited about that. The other thing that's kind of big today is I also collected a couple of their rocks over there in their trash pile, construction site trash pile. And um, I think I'm going to replace the fire ring bricks, which I thought I really liked, but I don't, I don't know. After a fire or two, they're turning pink. And that ain't my scene, so. Uh, so anyway, however, I'm not doing it today because it's after five o'clock and I've been here for like four hours already. But these rocks, I think uh, just rolling them over here wore me out. So I'll have to do it next time. But and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, making a fire ring. And, but we'll see. I'll have to play with that next time. I'm also uh, feeling really good about the trash pile that I'm building as a wall between me and my neighbor. A privacy wall. Uh, I feel great about it actually. Because this stuff does not have to be touched until I start building. Which is a couple years. So. And I'm loving my hammock. Uh, thank you James for putting up the uh, straps perfect spot for it uh, and I took out the trunk or the stumps that were here there was about a dozen stumps over here took them out the other day because my chainsaw made it a lot easier my fire log rack is uh, really piling up I'm very excited about that and here's another of the wall that I built for privacy between me and my neighbor I like it I like it a lot and I'm not exactly sure how much to water these trees that we've planted because uh, I'm going away tomorrow for about a week and uh, it's still moist, it's still real moist but I think I'll give them a little bit of water before I go. I also chopped down this tree. I was trying to get the entire thing out but my chainsaw battery ran out. Uh, I guess this chainsaw well, I, I guess I already knew it, but this chainsaw is not really made for uh, live logs that thick. I'm alright with that. I'll uh, finish it uh, uh, next time I come. But I removed the tree because A, it was ugly, and B, it was kind of in the path. So. But this is the pile over here that I am removing because this is a pile that is basically in the middle of my property and uh, and there's no point to it being there um, when I can use all those branches as a privacy on the other end of the property on the border of the property so I still haven't finished it but it's a bigger pile than I thought but hopefully I will uh, get all that moved to the back of the property or to the border and then I think I'm just gonna start thinning this stuff out on the downside of the uh, ridge line I think I'm just gonna start thinning it out and keeping the the perimeter thick you know for privacy but there's no reason for me not to enjoy this land you know so uh, but of course on the on the perimeters I'll keep it as thick as I can that way uh, a little bit of privacy, so anyway. So this is where I got uh, those big logs that, or not logs, uh, rocks that I'm looking to put for the fireplace, so. I had them all lined up right here, and boy, they were heavy, very, very heavy. Uh, but uh, it was very difficult to move, and I'm glad I got them out of here. That way it's not as inviting to people using them as steps. So. There's another rock that I could probably, two more rocks that I could probably use on the fire ring if I need it. Because I'm not exactly sure how the, the, law, the rocks that I have over there 
are going to fit very well together around the ring uh, of the fire pit. But uh, as of right now, we'll see how they go. I'm not exactly sure about them being like one of them dark gray. I like that. The other ones are all kind of light color. So I don't know. We'll see how they fit. But like I said, next time, too tired now.